Folks, this video was supposed to be uh, me and Redneck Mom cooking some red snapper that I caught offshore. But while I was in the freezer, I found a bag of this crab meat. <coughs> of course, it's imitation crab meat, it's not real. <coughs> but once I spread it out over a plate and kind of broke it up a little bit, as you can see here, I've decided that there is. Let me get out of the light. That there's enough of that for both of us to have for a dinner tonight. And what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to batter it up in some fish fry. I'm gonna, we're going to dip it in egg and uh, dip it in uh, zatarans <coughs> or whatever that stuff is I use. And I'm making little little crab chips out of it as it fries up. Check it out. Little crab chips. See if you can hear this. Mmm, they're nice and crispy. They're very flavorful. Mmm. That, 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 that's, that's delicious. Mmm. And I think we got this bag of crab for a couple bucks. So, this is going to be a really, really cheap meal. That, a can of baked beans, and some hush puppies in the toaster oven. Stay tuned, folks. This is cooking with rednecks. Stop the camera. Folks, the first thing I want to do is I want to take this and I want to break it up into thin slices. Now, you see this stuff comes in nice. Uh oh, you can't see shit. Whoa, focus. I can't see nothing. Anyway, it's pretty big chunks. I have to uh, zoom out for that. Look at the chunks. It comes in pretty big chunks. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to make these into thin slices so they're nice and crispy. I don't want it too thick. So what I'm going to do now is uh, just kind of, uh, you know, the way this stuff works, it just peels apart. I don't know if you can see this. Try to come close. It just peels apart into layers, and it's like flakes. See how that just peels apart? Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be making it. I'm gonna be making flakes like that. We ain't gonna get too thin. Now we ain't gonna try to go potato chip thin, but we don't want it too thick. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna prep all this and get it ready before we start to uh, get it ready to dip and, and fry. I'll be back in a minute, folks. Okay, I got the crab ready. I got the uh, seasoning ready. I got the egg wash ready. And, whoo, what's that right there, folks? Mmm. All right. While I'm processing the crab meat and getting it frying in the fryer, I've got my beans on low, on simmer. I'm going to put a lid on those. Let those be heating up at the same time. And uh, I'm going to put some hush puppies in the toaster oven. Throw a little bit of tinfoil. Let those go. I read the package. It said like put them on 450. It said to keep them frozen. Put them in there while they're frozen. I usually fry these folks, but I'm trying to be a little bit healthier. So this time I'm going to uh, bake them. Yeah, it, it, as if eating hush puppies can be healthy at all. So we'll do it like that. And this is uh, vegetable, uh, not vegetable oil, olive oil. What I use it was olive oil, folks. Pure olive oil. All right, now now that that stuff's getting warmed up, everything, by the time I get all the crab done, everything should be done. Even that, it's almost done already. And I'm not. I don't even have a buzz, folks. I've been just sipping on this blue cup for, what, it's it's 4.30 now, and I made it at about 1.30. I've been just sipping on it. It's just, you know, I, I'm going to have to have another drink after this. Mm. Folks, I gotta take a break. We got a phone call from a neighbor that's out of town, and uh, we we enjoy talking to her. So we're gonna put the video, on, the the cooking on pause, and enjoy talking to our neighbor because uh, she's been out of town for a couple of months, and uh, we miss her. Jan, if you watch this, we miss you and we love you. Happy New Year. Okay, folks, we're back in business here. Um, got the oil heating back up. 
We just got off the phone with our neighbor. Hurry up and get your ass back down here, girl. <laughs> she really ain't no girl. She's actually a, a grown woman. A lot older than I am. I shouldn't be calling her a girl. But anyhow, that might make her feel good. We miss you. Um, Ma is here. Redneck Mama's here. Howdy. What she's going to do is she's going to take, she's going to do the process of the batter, the egg wash that I got here. Got no egg wash. I'm the prep. Yeah, yeah, she's going to do the egg wash. Um, let me just zoom in a minute and show how that, how that process goes. Um, let me get you another plate. You're going to need another plate to put them on once you're done. And uh, then I'll move the camera after that and I'll show y'all me frying them. I mean, this is pretty freaking straight up. If you've ever fried chicken, if you've ever fried fish, if you've ever fried anything, it's the same damn thing. I mean, I don't know why we're making this video except for entertainment purposes because it's really not, it can't be a how to, right? Because everybody knows how to no. fry shit. Well, most people know how to fry stuff. Right? Well, do you want to show them how to, or do you want to tell them how, what you're doing as you're doing it? She likes to put one thing on one side and one thing on the other. Here, roll your sleeves up. Let's get ready to take your blood. <laughs> Talk to them. They're here to see you. Okay. They're here to see you. I don't know why I'm doing it this way, but... However you want to do it. I have to have like a, a line, and the first thing I have to do... Assembly is line. I have to take the meat and put it in here. Coat it. Coat it with the and eggs. Then it goes in here. Right, that's right. You throw a little bit of, little bit of uh, seasoning on it. Okay. Now that it's seasoned, you put it in the pan and it's ready for me. Right. Once that plate right there is is full of meat, then I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking it, and I'll show you that process here. Um, now this this is simulated or uh, imitation crab meat, and it's already cooked. It's Pollock or some other crazy I don't know what you call it's that very stuff. Very delicious. Though. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, last time I did this, I think I made a video about frying crab, fried crab legs, and it was not good. I think I used real crab legs, and uh, it didn't turn out that good. But this says Alaskan Pollock is what this is. And she, 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 she seems to think that she got this buy one, get one free, but I only found one. What'd you do with the other one? I think I made some uh, crab salad out of it. Oh, ate it without me, huh? No. Huh. Uh, next time I have it on sale, buy one, get one free, I'm getting this again. Because this is a good display. It, it's, it's pretty good. And it's pretty cheap when, when you come right down to it. Yeah. It's only two bucks, I oh, think. Oh, yeah. By the way, those little pieces I tried earlier, I already gave her some, and she liked it also. So that's why we decided to go ahead and put the red snapper away, which is delicious. Don't get me wrong. That red snapper is so good, but it is so good that we didn't want to mix it with this, which is not that good. I mean, this is great. This is good, but red snapper is more, more, more better. It's more better. You know, more better. You know more better, don't you? Mo Better's that black guy that can't quit going to the casino. His nickname is Mo Better. He can't quit betting. What's up, Mo? I'm down here at the casino. I'm betting on something. What you want? Hey, you know what, what Jan said? What? She said she spilled a little bit of coffee on her hand, on her finger. Yeah. And when she tried to open the door to the prison to go in, her finger stuck to the door. Because it was cold? Because it was so cold, <laughs> it's below zero. Wow. And then she ended up having to put more coffee on her fingers. So to thaw it out. To thaw it out so she could get her finger off the door. The viewers don't really know, I don't guess, that are uh, who you're talking about. We've almost got it plate full. I'm heating my oil back up, getting it ready to go. It's hard to tell how hot your oil is on a doggone stove like this. It has absolutely no temperature reading except for low to one, two, three, high, whatever, this and that. I should probably have the damn TV turned off. Let me go mute the TV, folks. I'm sorry about that. So they're going to be nice and thin and crispy, aren't they? 
I'm going to zoom in a little bit on your hands and show them kind of what you're doing there. I'm trying to keep one hand. One hand for the dip and one try, hand. Yeah, you try to. You so got you one hand for the wet shit and one hand for the, the dry, dry shit. Yeah. So you have one hand clean, kind of. Yeah. You only wipe with one hand. <laughs> How could you wipe with two hands? There's a piece. I was about to say there's still a piece in there. Okay, I'm gonna take these and put them in. If you want to just, uh, you want some more? Um, I'm gonna scoop it together. Okay. Don't put more. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start frying this, folks. She's got me a plate ready. I'm gonna move the camera over to the fryer and show you that part. Okay, folks, I got it medium, a little bit above medium, and I think that that's a proper temperature for this. Uh, looks like it's it's gonna bubble when you put it in like that. When you put it in, you want your grease hot enough to fry it. Just gonna pour some in. You can probably hear raindrops. If you hear a weird noise, it's raining like hell outside. And uh, the the hood oven, the hood, the oven, the oven hood is right above where we're at. So you can probably hear the rain hitting that. Um, mm -hmm. What do you call that thing? The vent that comes out the roof? Yep. The hood vent. Whatever you want to call it. Anyhow, folks, you just put that in there and you keep an eye on it until it gets golden brown. You don't want to, of course, you don't want to overcook it. And the smaller ones... It's already cooked. Yeah, it's already cooked. All you're doing is trying to brown your uh, crispy, your, your coating. Um, all, that's all you're doing is trying to make it crispy. So it's not going to take very long at all. Okay, now I got to put this to the side real quick. Here, you want that? I need to get something I can flip these with, which I don't have a fork anywhere around. I'll get this one out of here. All right, I got these boiling real nicely. My uh, temperature on my electric stove burner is on six, by the way, folks. So I'm just going to uh, flip them each, flip it, well that's not good enough, I'm going to let them go. If you flip one and it's not dark enough, just keep letting it go. Don't flip the rest of them and, and just let it go for a little bit longer. When you flip one and you see that it's to your desired darkness, then start flipping the rest of them. I'm going to turn my heat up a little bit, just, just a touch past six. I think putting the cold stuff in there kind of cooled off the uh, grease just a little bit. Now remember, this is uh, pure olive oil that we're frying in. So I had a commenter, one of my viewers said that I should be using uh, olive oil instead of uh, the other oils that I was using because of my condition, you know, my high cholesterol. And I listen to you guys. I'm, I'm using uh, I'm using olive oil this time. Open up my toaster oven and spin my roll my dog on hush puppies around a little bit, so they don't cook too evenly on get you know one side or whatever. My beans, they're doing good. Shut them off. They're shut, they're shut, too hot. shut them off. They too hot. Yeah, they're steaming. They're just, shut those off. Okay, these little crab chunks are cooking up nicely. Oh, they're going to be so good. That Now see how that one looks, folks? I'm going to bring it up to the camera if I can without, uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. But it's got a nice golden brown to it. It's That's what you want. When, that one get, when one of them gets like that, that's when it's time to start flipping them. And you want to flip them quickly because they're going to start cooking quickly. Just go ahead and start cook flipping them. Get them flipped. Because if you don't, they could burn easily. Flip them. Get them flipped. I only have about an inch of grease in this pan. Now we're not deep frying these as you, could, you would say. I'm shallow frying these this time because I'm using the olive oil and I didn't want to freaking fill up my fryer 
with a, a gallon and a half of freaking oil or whatever, you know, because that olive oil, that stuff's expensive, man. And woman. Yeah. While I'm on here, I'm going to give a shout out to uh, Everett Smith. Happy New Year, Everett. I've seen that you, uh, I think you sat on your phone and accidentally called me during um, Christmas or New Year's or something. But uh, anyhow, it only rang one time. I tried to call you back, it went to a voicemail. You're a hard guy to get in touch with. But thanks for watching, Everett Smith. And thanks for your service again, once again. Thank you so much for your service in protecting us and uh, giving us the freedom, fighting for our freedom. The sacrifices that you made were large, and I, I thank you for that. I'm sorry that it happened, but I thank you so much for, for that. Back to the cooking video. Now this stuff here, I think, is about ready. Now once you, you flip it over, again, you can see it's good color on both sides, and both, both sides are about the same color. It's time to get it out of there. Get you a paper plate. I mean, not a paper plate. Well, you can use a paper plate if you want, but I'm just using a regular old plate with some paper on it. <laughs> See there? I got a regular old plate with some paper on it. See how I did that? Now, this has become a paper plate. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop these up and set them on that paper and let them drain. And then we're going to do the next batch. She's already got another plate ready, don't you, Mom? Yep. Wow. Did you have a good Christmas? Yep. Yeah? How about New Year's? Mm. No, nah, not really? Well, it was all right because I was, had some alone time. Because so. <laughs> I went out of town to go see Happy. Yep. So how do you think the uh, living arrangements are so far with, with us living together? You think it's working out so far? Mostly. Mostly? Sometimes we argue, but well, well, you're gonna do, you're gonna argue. That's that's, 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 that's 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 gonna happen with anybody. <laughs> but it's probably uh, it's okay. I guess a little bit of arguing might be healthy, right, folks? You never know. Anyhow, but don't argue with your mom. You know, she growed you up. She took care of you, and and she took. She grew, she had birth. She gave birth to you. Talk to yourself. Don't argue with your mom. Talk to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes the child does know better when it comes to some things. Of course. That's true. Yeah. Of course. I have to agree. Yeah. But it it was it was uh, also part of her decision to go with the stain instead of the paint, wasn't it? Yeah. My and and my other son seem to think that that was a good idea also. So we got we had a lot of advice uh, deciding uh, we're looking at you. Oh. We had a lot of advice whether we should do stain or paint and uh, I sure made a mess of this shirt. Okay you can go cl clean that up. Go ahead and clean that up. Go ahead and clean that up yourself. Well whatever. I'm gonna be cooking folks so I'm gonna end this video right here and I will start again when we got a plate full and show you what it's like. Be right back. Those are all done. Let me find a thicker one and try to open it up for you. Mmm, look at that folks. Take a look at that. Check that out. That's some old flaky imitation crab. Let's make a plate. That's the camera. All right, folks, there's my plate. I've got me some beans, some crab, fried crab, and some uh, hush puppies. And I'm going to eat it with this stuff. Yes, extra, extra, extra hot chili habanero sauce. Okay, folks, there's that stuff. And as you can see, I only put a little bit on there because you're just going to dip just a touch in there. This ain't made for dipping, but I'm using it for dipping. This is made for cooking. If anybody uses this as a dip like I am, they're going to burn their ass up. All right, folks, this is what it looks like, and this is what I look like eating this hot-ass crab meat. Ugh. 
Mmm. You know that habanero on there tastes really good. But it is <coughs> It's so hot. It tastes good and just <coughs> mm. I'm not gonna talk and eat, folks. Thanks for watching this episode of Cooking with Two Crazy Rednecks. Bye.